Today, we're at 75 First Avenue. It's a brand new residential project in the East Village. We're working with Monomid, and we're gonna show you how we went from this to this. I'm Ashley D'Souza, and you're watching another episode of Staged by Listed. This building is comprised of 22 homes. They're one to three bedrooms and prices start just under a million dollars. We're gonna be working with Monument Studios to stage a two bedroom corner home. It's got triple exposures, huge windows, and private outdoor space. Let's go check out the studio in Williamsburg to see how the process is going with Jim. So one of the biggest features for this apartment was having the floor to ceiling windows throughout the apartment. But this can be a great thing for the views and natural light, but for the privacy, it can be the challenge. So in mostly what we think about the master bedroom that needed the most privacy for the potential clients, that we came with an idea that we had to use floor to ceiling curtain panels to give the privacy needed. So our style is a mix of modern and eclectic elements. We design places that people feel comfortable to living in. Functionality is also very important. I think the perfect balance is once you use those items, then the place looks like it lived on. So a project like this in most several stages, which we did the first walkthrough and the design consultation from the client. After we have the brief, we sit together with our design team we putting the ideas together and brainstorming how we can come up with the design plan. And after we have the design plan, we putting every little thing in this board to kind of see how the colors and materials work together. And then we making the decisions of the selecting the items. Once we selected the items, we bring everything on site and then we placing everything where it goes. And then we doing the styling and then we are making it ready for the shoot. I'm really excited to see what you've done here at 75 First, thank you. So I'm already loving the vibe and the colors and it's a big open space. So what was the process? What did you start with and, and how did you make this work? It is actually a very big open space that we planned actually to using the dining table separated from the living room. So we use the circular table in the kitchen to give us the flexibility there. And then we actually um, separated the two distinct areas, dining and the living other side. And then uh, we'll show you actually how we separating these two spaces together. Okay, I'm excited to learn some tricks here. So speaking of the separation, I like to use this piece. Let me show you how to separate this living room with just placing this simple bench here. So you have right now, you separate the two different spaces. You have the living space and then you have the dining space here. And then actually this actually adds like a little bit more seating mm -hmm. for the entertaining area. Definitely. And I love that, you know, where these have the backs on them, being that this is a bench, you kind of create this, this open walkway towards your outdoor space. Exactly. And you can use it from either side. So yeah. while you're cooking, I can sit here and you can bring me a cocktail. Exactly. <laughs> I really love the colors that you chose, the woods, the warm materials. Tell me more about that. Yeah, exactly, because we have this like big window, so the apartment is very bright, and we have this like white wall, so this actually makes everything so much warmer and cozier, so we love just mixing materials. We have the marble here, boot console, we have those cane chairs, so everything actually works very great. Yeah, speaking of bringing the outside in and these big windows you mentioned, we all love big windows. Everybody comes in looking for a home. They want bright light, but that also makes a lack of privacy. Exactly. So what did you do to, to keep it a little more intimate? Yeah, so we actually added these floor to ceiling linen curtains. They actually kind of transparent. It's to bring the lights in, but at the same time, still giving that little bit of privacy that they needed. So let me tell you about the placement a little bit here that we kind of just like place this sofa here because as you see from here we have this beautiful skylines and then you have the ability that you can put your TV there, watch your TV, watch, watch this beautiful Manhattan views. It's a pretty impressive view, isn't it? it is All the iconic buildings, so gorgeous. A 
Again, we have a very large room for a guest bedroom and then we had to kind of just like create two different areas. We actually use this space for the sleeping section and then we have a lounge area and then we have a desk there to just like work. Yeah, it's really nice that you can show that you can have all of these different distinct uses in the same room. Yes, exactly. And then again, we have this like gorgeous views in the background. But with privacy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that you created, luckily. <laughs> all right, so show me the primary bedroom. Sure, let's go. So one of the other challenges we had here in this primary bedroom, again, we have these huge windows all over, and then we have the closet space here, so we had to place the bed in front of the windows. That would normally be really terrifying for a lot yes. of people, I'm sure, right? A lot of people just scared of putting the bed in front of the windows, but so actually here, yes, it worked very well because again, we kind of just framed the bed with the linen curtains and we had a nice backdrop uh, behind the bed. Yeah, it kind of makes a glowing ambiance around the bed, which is nice. And I guess you could have done it here, um, but this gave us the opportunity for this nice lounge space. You have the lounge space there, you and can the sit there, your put bed. your shoes. So as you see here that we actually use these linen curtains that actually they're giving that privacy in the space, but at the same time keeping the light in. And it's actually very working well with the rest of the room, which this also the bed material. And then we have the sofa here. And then similar to the couch in the living room. So the consistency exactly. and that same, that same warm yes. airiness. It's fabulous. I absolutely love what you did. Perfect. Thank you so much for showing me around today. You did a fabulous job. I'm really excited uh, about how this project came out. So how do we see more of your work? How do we find you? So thank you for having us. And then you can reach us from Monomit NYC, Instagram account, or we have the website monomit.com. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for watching another episode of Staged on Listed. I'm Ashley D'Souza. And if you want to know more about 75 First Avenue, check out the details below. See you on the next one. Bye.